Hello, Red Teaming fans. I'm Kevin Reaper, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to be talking about the ASCII table. The ASCII table, what is that even? Well, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And the reason we have this is because we have to figure out a way to represent letters and characters uh, within computer data. Uh, we have been spending quite a, a, a large amount of time uh, in the last, well, few episodes talking about computer data and how it lives on, on a computer. And we've uh, come to the realization that hexadecimal is, is kind of the last, uh, the lowest level of representation that we as a user, general user, can see. So if we open up a file in a hex editor, we could see data here. Eric Zimmerman, and we get to see how that's represented, Eric Zimmerman, how that's represented in hexadecimal values. But who got to say that this Z is 5A? Well, we have this thing called an ASCII table. And the ASCII table was written to show that representation, to show you uh, what kind of a value is going to be used to represent a certain character. So let's look at, uh, and, and as you can see here, we have uh, a decimal value, we have the, its hex value, an octal value, the HTML value, and the character that is being represented. So let's look at the letter J. The letter J says that the hex value for J is 4A. Now if we open up a notepad document, very, very simple, in a hex editor, we can see that the letter J in Juliet, and this isn't just any letter J, this is the capital J because the lowercase J is a different representation. Uppercase J here, 4A. So 4A for J, 4A for J. Now, there's also something called non-ASCII data, and non-ASCII data is data that is not represented by one of those characters in the ASCII table. Something like the mess that's inside a JPEG or a video or encryption. We see all of the hex characters just as we've uh, come to recognize them, but when we look at the data side in a hex editor, it makes no sense to us. That's because it's non-ASCII. It's not meant to represent letters or numbers. So I hope that that helps you understand how we got from letters to hex. The hex represents the same letter all the time. That's the ASCII table. And that's it for another episode of My Sense 3 Minutes Max.